test drive. No? No test drive? Or test, test put. A lot of these in here, you know, they're, you could use, you know. Now we got a Malibu. Well, we got us an early 60s Ford Cab. And we got us a 64, 60, up, oh, 65. Guy told me a Saturday. Right here, 65. See how that peak? 64 comes straight down. Easy thing for me to remember. I love learning, guys. I'm trying to pass it on. Well, this is a bucket seat car. I know somebody could use them springs. I don't know about the back seat spring up on the top, but these look usable. All the gauges. Malibu. Uh, tail lights. Side windows. What about the grill? Grill, yep, headlight bezels. Here we got us a Pontiac, I know. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, get a look at the front end. Huh. Well, I'm claiming it's a Pontiac guy. Let's see if I'm wrong. It's been pretty stripped. Now, this was a... Yep, no shift on the car. This was a factory. Three-speed or four-speed. Standard, anyway. It's one of them that's been up here since he opened in 77, I bet. But the way them tail lights are openings are makes me think it's a Pontiac but you guys tell me I know that because that's 65 Ford Galaxy right there another C10 truck and he's got a lot of good Fords here this is a four-door still got the motor in it 289 all right, uh, a lot of usable parts on this. I don't know which way I'm gonna go back down, so I want to back down, get these two I missed. Man, he was a Ford guy. Look at this galaxy. Early 60s, I know guys. I don't know my stuff uh, as well as most of you. That's had new receipts put in it. But it's complete. Uh, front fender's definitely usable. Grill can be worked out again. Bumper needs to be chrome. Bottom of this fender's rotted. Hood opening good. Uh, yeah, good hood. Good hood. Was it good? No, still good hood. Uh, S10. Uh, wow. Fox body, Mustang, one of the first ones, 7980, another Galaxy. Another Galaxy. That's cool. That's cool. Thunderbird, 67 to 70. Uh -huh. Okay. My third car was a 79 Mustang notchback. Four cylinder four speed. Did I run it to death? That's what a 16 year old kid does sometimes. Another Galaxy. Well, Fairlane, right? No Galaxy 500. That's my eyes are getting bad. Uh, bucket seats in it that could be redone with the factory shifter guys console look how good that is guys I hope you give him a call anything I'd ask out of him is maybe give me a deal on something if he sold a lot of parts but I don't know if I'll ever be back down here to buy something unless I came on to something I need it back there is a galaxy wagon that is, had his top, I thought, took off, but it's just rusted. thought, well, maybe somebody used that. Now they just pulled it off. Or the wind's blew it off. 
Yeah, it's a parts guy. Chrome piece or something like that, you see. Early 60s cab again. Yeah, he's got the old stuff. Here's a, I don't know what it'd be. Duster, swinger, scant. <laughs> I don't know these all that well. I know that they're early 70s. This is a special. So would that be the dart? Is the dart what had the special? Or am I wrong, guys? Looks like my grandpa's 74 Plymouth Scamp he had on the back tail lights. He just keeps giving. Yeah, definitely a Ford guy. Another Ford Mustang. Ford cab. Wow, look at that. Unless somebody... Yeah, it's got a little whammy here on the side on that grill. But, you guys know what you need and what you can use. How about this Oldsmobile Cutlass, guys? That'd be uh, 70 to 72, am I right? Oh, this is Old Car Road now. I think I found what he was talking about up in the tree line. Yeah, what we got? Uh, bumpers, you can buy them so cheap people don't re -chrome them anymore. This was a cutlass. What was it? This hard top. Definitely a hard top. Trunk, usable. Well, guess what that is? But it's a Ford. Looks like something around the late 50s. Nice instrument cluster. I like taking those and putting a piece of nice stained wood with it. Making a shelf out of it. You know, when stuff's too rotted to be used for its purpose. I always use it for something else. Here's a GM. Uh, he's got numbers on the side. I thought maybe it's, it's got some good chrome pieces. Instrument panel, chrome heater, uh, where it comes out at. Yeah, it ain't going to give up too much more parts. But them little ones that you need might be on there. And here we got 69, 70. This is a Galaxy. I think this is a Galaxy, not a Fairlane. A lot of usable parts, uh, little things, you know. There's a lot of good interiors up here, which surprised me being hip in here. Another Galaxy. And somebody wanted that door off very bad. If that happened moving up. Complete dash. Eight fifties Ford. Two door hard top. Galaxy or fairly. I think this is a Galaxy though. Yeah, I'll definitely come back up here like two months from now when all this is dead around it. Get better shots. But i just been away from junkyards for about five weeks. Abandoned old cars on back roads. And I just can't take it no more, guys. <laughs> now this little dust is kind of rotted away. Where I guess it has a V8 in it, guys. Factory V8. Huh. The grill looks good on it. Well, bust it on top of it. Dang it. And here's what's left of a mid 50s, 55 to 57 Ford. I 
There's that. I'm pretty sure it's a 58 or 59. It's one of the two guys. I can get them close. Close on the counts in horseshoes. And it looks like maybe a Galaxy or possibly an LTD, but it looks like it might have been a convertible. Is that factor? Yeah, yeah, convertible. But she ain't gonna be giving up much parts. She does have a dash steel, dash instrument cluster is still in it. Another Galaxy. Ford Capital right here, guys. No, it ain't. Gee whiz. I know, give me a hard time, guys. Plymouth Fury. I'm looking at one thing and pointing at another. The Plymouth VIP. Ooh. This was the deluxe four door hardtop. Got us a Lincoln here. The old suicide doors, mid 60s. I hope you guys find something you need in here. I really like to help Charlie out. Like I said, I don't make a dime on it. When he said, asked me about that, these are all mid 50s Fords through here. He said, well, how do you do it? So I got this, I like helping people. Uh, maybe you guys can return the favor if I help you find something. Ooh, instrument panel. A lot of these cars, like I told him, man, his, his sights is permanently closed, so that's got to be hurting him. I mean, this is what you call a small hometown junkyard. About one of only, about one of five or six in this around Galapagos, Ohio. It's still opening. He's about the last one, I think. Another Galaxy. There's a Granada. You start liking them when you don't see them no more. Another Galaxy. Oh, another Galaxy. The Ford Fairlane 64, 65, something like that, guys. All right. Good grill on it. You know, a lot of that stuff can be sold again. Use it. Oh, man. Factory bucket seat. Good to reupholster. Or use it as is. There's an old Fairlane beside it. I do prefer the Fairlane to the Galaxies. I don't know why. Just a subtle changes just a little bit a little bit smaller i think early 60s falcon yeah, it's got the parts on it i bet somebody could reuse that trunk another galaxy This is the back of that Fairlane. I used to like these cars. I don't know why, but I did get Fairlane 500. Look at seats still in. What we got right here? Another Mustang on them 72 to 74 style. Notch back. I know it's hard to see, guys. But I'll give you an idea of what's here, and you can call him. Like I say, I'll be back up in two months to redo this. I've got three lined up. One of them's as far as away as New York. And you might not think that's far for a guy living in West Virginia, but I got bigger and I ain't been out of West Virginia high in Kentucky for 30 years. This trip to Sykes and Missouri's got me all excited. No name nationals. Racing the 71 by and it gets my 70 Buick Riviera. You've seen it get built on Uncle Tony's garage. Now they have their own channel. Daddy's Money's Garage. Okay, back on the Galaxies. And Galaxy. I haven't seen them Montegos. I do like my Montego 68, 69. Uh, there's another four Galaxy 65, 66. Four door. Looks to be the same color as that other one. Another 50s. 
forward. Now some of them one down through there could be saved. These up here are purely parts cars, but that's how we keep other ones on the road, ain't it? That's a ranchero. Yep, ranchero. What's that thing peeking out through the woods at me, guys? I think that's another 65, 66 galaxy. Yep. Here's another galaxy. 60s. 65, 66. I know you can't see it. The grill, trust me, is in there. Ah, another, ooh, 55, 56, Ranchero. 57, I think, 57, maybe. Ranchero, right beside each other. Need some Ranchero stainless steel or parts. Them things ain't around everywhere. Another one of them early 70s Mustang. You thought you hated them, then, then they brought you the Mustang too and made you love them. <laughs> Okay, I think we're getting up into we got 69 and 70 Cadillac sitting right here. One is a convertible, the other is a four door hardtop. Over here, we got 60 Chevy. 62 is my favorite out of all the Impalas. And that's what we're looking at back there. I think this one is too. 62 Biscayne's what I like. Two tail lights, I'd make it to Biscayne. There's an old Mercedes, a couple of them right beside each other. Oh yeah, four door here. Glad I wore jeans, but whew, I'm getting hot, guys. Now here's a Mid 60s Buick Stace Wagon. And then an early 60s Buick, like 62, 63. Wood truck. Wood Falcon. Ooh, a 56 or 55 panel, wood panel. Ah, look at that lip on that quarter, guys. Somebody that wanted that bottom section. There you go. Uh, the back lift could even be used, not the bottom, but the back. At least the glass is good at it, too. 79, 80 Ford truck here. I used to walk by, but when you get 40, over 40 years old, you gotta give them respect, right, guys? They're senior citizen automobiles. Yeah, and he's got all kind of parts, Ford, a lot of Ford stuff, but a lot of other stuff in his garage. You know, he's been doing this since 77, so. Right here. Of course, there's been a lot took in and took out through the years, but you can tell that he saved on to a lot of them because these have been here forever, some of them. And we got this GMC. Look at that grill. Wow, I love that time. In the years. That was a big trucker. An old Jeep. Dennis Collins. Coffee walk. Is this something you'd like? <laughs> Who knows? I might be going by one of a one, or what's he call it? Ultra rare. Or, or no, he has a term. What's that term, guys? If you watch Coffee Walk, I can't think of it. Ultra rare, but one of a kind. Now that one, that one's been there for a while. He's got pushed around and crunched up. He's crunchy. Definitely crunchy. Uh, 
As you can see down there, guys, it looks like a creek or a pond. One or two. Here's the old. Oh, they made like a Honto edition with J10s, Jeep trucks. And what we got here? That's a flatbed. Got the Dan out, early 70s, late 60s Ford truck. There's a nice Jeep. I mean, I don't mean by its nice condition, but you just don't see them that much. Of course, there wasn't that many made. Service trucks. Yeah, I'll be back to this place. I know that. I mean, I give you the overall now and do like I do at my car shows. Go back and put like a minute video on one of these. Just even the crunchy ones, you know. So someday, I'm sure he's going to live another 50 years, but someday all this will be gone. Just like everything. Just like me. Someday. Let's hope that someday don't come, right guys? <laughs> I'm having too much fun, thanks to you guys. To find somebody that likes what I love to do. What I found I love to do, you know, something I just started doing over a year ago. And just started a YouTube channel last November, you know. I, uh, I don't know what to say, you know. It's stuff I did with my dad on Sundays back in the... 70s and 80s and I have dozens of photo albums just of old cars on back roads to prove it junkyards I'm sure you know I got out when my dad died got away from it but I'm sure my dad's looking down pretty happy that I'm happy you know that's all he ever wanted was me just to be happy he's a good dad you know people are human you know, mom and dad both, good. They were human. Just like me, I've made a lot of mistakes. But they're human. Parents are human too. Look at all these Jeeps. Oh, come on, Dennis. Is there a part you gotta have here? Reach out to Dennis Collins. Reach out. Now I'm calling all these guys out, huh? <laughs> sleeper dude but you need to check out another guy Mr. Good Pliers he's like out Iowa uh, somewhere Kansas Kansas I think there's another Jeep truck he there's them auction sales out there I tell you that's where to go to buy good sheet metal what they call rusty I call gold here uh, good guy I, I seen him on American Pickers episode a few years back and old Mel truck and I liked what I, I liked his attitude, liked the you know, like just liked it. And then I just by happen caught him on YouTube one day. It's like I seen this guy before. He started his own YouTube channel and pretty cool guy. Well we're walking back down the hill guys. Well, not the big hill, the little hill. Uh, this is part two. Part one was like 33 minutes. There's a Jeep truck. We're at 23 now, so I'm sure we're going to hit 33 minutes around there. There's an old Chevy and Powell. 68, 67. But, uh, you guys, just, uh, I'll have a part three, I promise you. Yeah, I came back around that way, so let's go back down this way. Big old crane. I love junkyards. You know, you... I, you know, there's people that's never been to junkyards when they was a kid and played in them in playgrounds like my dad and me did. I've said it before, we didn't hunt, we didn't do sports, 
our connection with old cars, working on them in junkyards. Had me underneath change and transmissions when I was 11 years old. Yeah, okay, we came back around. Get ready to go back to my car. Hey, check that out in part one. Uh, Fox body GT. Already got the roll cage in it. Good looking body. Uh, let me see. I think he said cars are up here too. Oh, look at what's hiding away back here. Old house. Who knows? Maybe his parents lived in it at one time. Old International Harvester tractor. Or International, anyway. That's another galaxy, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, he's got a 55 or 56 of where it looks like the body's all good on it. Same here, this like, um, you know, just the body, like doors, nothing, frame, you know. But these are nice cars that can be restored. He's got them in here for a reason. Two-door hardtop, 364. <coughs> the other ones are two-door sedans in the 50s, 55, 56. came around a little bit ago another galaxy i tell you what if you need ford parts for the 60s ford galaxy paraline 50s or 60s he's got a lot here a lot Let's see a pinto wagon up here. Is it worth walking up here? We'll see. Hell, let's just drive up there. Well, it's at 27 minutes, guys. I guess we will have a part three. So uh, it'll probably be a short one. But if you check, have it checked out part one. Charlie's salvage yard. Thanks guys. Hey guys, that's Charlie's Auto Salvage, Gal Plus Ohio. Area code 740-446-7717. If you lose that, just remember Charlie's Salvage Yard, Gal Plus Ohio. And it says permanently closed on the website. He said he's going, he didn't even know that until I told him. So I uh, don't pay attention to that. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. You guys, he just made one video. Uh, old dad's running back garage.